So you're not a regulated body or nothing, so I don't I am. need to talk to you, you don't? I'm regulated by the members of the public. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at NV Recover 7 Waste Services. Malvern Hills District Council. The cycling truck just come in. Yeah, we're here in Kidderminster, a DY10 postcode. And this looks like one of those energy from waste facilities. So your waste comes in and they make energy from it. Electric. I think. So the vehicles will be empty as they come out, full as they go in. And the process happens inside. Now we've got two walkways there leading into some offices but i expect the main part of this building is some sort of incinerator or turbine heat propelled or i don't know we'll try and find out so what else can we see well apart from the big massive chimney up there which doesn't seem to be giving anything out we'll just have a constant flow of Waste vehicles arriving. Clear away, look. You got the council one, which has just left the way bridge. Look, you got a scaffold there. I think it might be a bridge going over. It's doing something. Let's get a better angle on this one. So it's just a scaffold platform going over the water. I'm not sure what it's trying to achieve, whether it's filtering the water out or just a, a viewing platform, I don't know. So there must be a need to get down into this area for some reason. Now it looks like this is where they come in and lift their rear end up and tip it and it looks like it goes down. So is there an underground area? Yeah, there must be. So how long is this shutter going to remain open for? Because they do close pretty quick. But there we have it. It reverses into a bay, which goes underground. And the rear will open. Look at that. Now you don't see that every day, do you? And I presume the piston inside will then push back and force everything else out. But the shutter will close to try and keep the smell inside, which is a great automatic feature. Now, on the pallets just here, we have lots of wheels, the rims. So if they made their way into the system, got mangled a little bit as they went through but pulled out and are now being sold as metal and that's what it looks like from the rear a very large building different sections filter in turn onto the way bridge as per the highway code <laughs> seven waste services NV recover energy from waste that's where we are opening hours Emergency number, environment agency, working in partnership with the local councils. So it does look a very, very expensive place to build with lots of fancy technology inside. We know the vehicles tip here and it goes underground somewhere. So I think it's time to understand this a little bit more and get the drone out. But we are on a private trading estate. So we shall treat this as if we need their permission to take off. Because we know we can take off and land on any council maintained area. But when it's privately owned, you really should get consent. 
So let's see if they mind. Hello? Hello mate, you've seen me out on the front filming, haven't you? Sorry? I'm just out on the front filming, have you noticed? Uh, no I haven't mate. Right, okay, can you see me waving at the gatehouse, at the gate? Uh, I can't from here mate, no, can you see somebody waving there? Look, I'm just here mate, yeah? So that's me. Bye. I know you're busy, so I'll keep it brief. I'm just doing a video from the outside. Can you hear me, yeah? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm gonna take the drone up in five minutes just to get the aerial footage that I need. And then I'll be gone, but I'm not gonna come on your land, all right? Uh, just bear with me, mate. There's a chap here, he's got a drone, he wants to take some aerial footage. Somebody's gonna come and meet you, mate. All right, thank you. Okay, cheers. So yeah, when we said we're not gonna come on your land, <laughs> Well, we do want to come on your land to do the drone footage. We want your consent because this is a private trading estate and we want to play extra, extra safe. Be a good example. Yeah, I was just checking. Is there a public footpath anywhere near here? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not 100% certain. Right. Because um, what it is, I'm just doing some filming from the outside about the energy from waste facility. Okay. Okay. And I'd take the drone over. <coughs> but normally, I'm standing on a public footpath. DJ, DJ. DJ, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. What's you your name? Gonna, you're not going to give me a key, you're going. I am, yeah. Fuck do you want one? I do, yeah. I get a hug as well, do I? There you go, <coughs> mate. So you've watched the videos? Oh, I've watched most of them, mate. So you don't mind then? I don't mind, but I've, I'm just a worker here. Are you security? But, I work in over there, the way bridge, yeah. Brilliant. And I also work in a tip in all, all around this building. Um, I can't believe I, I was watching you the other day. Which, which one? Which one was it? I watch them all because you, you sometimes go around with DJ as well, don't you? I am DJ. Oh, PJ. Oh, PJ. And yeah. do you know what give it away? The green trousers. The green trousers. And look what's over there. The orange bike. The orange bike. Yeah. <laughs> I so believe it. I just saw one of them tip inside and it goes underground, in it? Yeah, it goes underground. It goes into a, goes into a bunker. And then uh, we get picked up with grains, cranes and then gets put into a, like a massive furnace and burnt and turned into energy. So is it the heat that turns a turbine or something? Yeah, that's it. The turbine's over there, that green building. The green building's a turbine. As the waste goes down, the chute, what's pushing it down underground? Nothing. It gravity? Goes down, it, yeah, it just goes, gravity just goes down the chute. Gravity Into what? Just a big hole, just a big pit. Okay. So when it's in the pit, cranes are then lifting it up with big grabs? Yeah. And putting it into some sort of a hopper, which sends it into the, into the furnace, burns it all out and then it gets turned into natural energy. Everything on this plant's recycled. Scrap metal, ash, it's all turned into something that we can recycle. Brilliant, brilliant. So gravity's taking it down into the pit yeah. from the vehicles. Yeah. The cranes are picking it up. Yeah. The gravity's then taking it back down yeah. through the hopper yeah. into the furnace. Yeah. Which is then producing heat. Yeah, producing the heat. Or the steam to turn the turbine. What turns steam, steam turns the turbine. So it's steam powered Power turbine. To, yeah. Okay. I believe so, yeah. And say, so, like, if somebody lobs a, a, a steel wheel into... Yeah. Because I noticed you've got a few pallets of wheels around the back, rims. That's, yeah, that's not for that. That's not... Uh, we have an outage every year where the plant gets stopped and all the maintenance work needs doing on it. So we have to clean all the slag and everything. Right. So all those get put in into the, um, into the hopper and all the slag gets... Pushed off the sides, belt off the sides. Got you. So that's the maintenance yeah, yeah. thing that you you're using recycling material, recycled materials yeah. to clean your gear. Yeah. Brilliant. So yeah, that's uh, how many people you got working in here, roughly? Oh, less than a hundred. Oh yeah. Right. The building looks bigger than what it is. Hey. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Because um, I thought because I. I phoned him, I said, look, there's a guy out there. I hadn't realised at the time. So there's a guy out here, I think he's ordered. And what we have to do, it, obviously, because you've been around at these bullet places all the time, close all the gates, make sure you don't come in, because, you know. Me? Yeah. I'm not going to come in. <laughs> I know that, you never do, unless you're invited, do you? Yeah, you yeah. always ask to be uh, 
to be what, but I'll introduce you to you. I'll, I'll just say that you're very famous, good auditors, all right? They're your words. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, Hi, Jay. This guy's one of the good auditors, very famous, talking about a million videos of his. Auditor? Yeah. So what he does, he'll explain it to you better than me. Go on. Yeah, we just stay outside, but we make a little video for the YouTube channel. Okay. And we just comment on good and bad things that we can see. Mm -hmm. And then show the public what we've, where we've been today. Okay. But I've not seen any bad things, so you're okay. Don't worry. Oh, well, you shouldn't do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's told me roughly um, what you do here, and it's brilliant. You know, it's yeah. the future. Mm -hmm. So it goes underground yeah. with gravity from the vehicles, lifted up with a crane, put into some sort of burning <laughs> yeah, no, function. Yeah, I mean, it is exactly that. If, if, I mean, there are public days of opening, if ever you want to come and have a look around. But our camera's allowed. Cameras are not allowed, but, but I mean you can, you can get an idea then if you really want to see how the place works. I've already got an idea thanks to, right. what was your name again? Uh, Robin. Robin, yeah. who All watches right. the videos and... Uh, I was watching one of his last night, yeah. he just goes around in places of interest, industrial sites and he like, highlights good and bad things. He loves number plates, Yeah. so if you've got an illegal number plate, he'll, he'll pick that up, spend it at a police station, he'll, oh, that's not right, and he'll point that out. See what I mean, like an audit, we're making sure everything's okay. Done okay. He got a key ring, you see. We have a little thing going if you're a viewer. And he'll hide one somewhere around here as well, so. Yeah, you'll have people come in looking for the key ring that I hide. But my main question was, I do take a drone up, right? Just to get the aerial footage. So any objections, because the law allows it, but if you have got any concerns. Well, we are because of the 66 KB. It's what, sorry? You won't be able to fly over this boundary. I go around the outside. I don't go over anything. Yeah. Just you need to be wary of the power lines as well. 66 yep. KB. Yep, we'll do. So we know that it's going to be safe. I've told you I'm responsible. No objections. And I will be outside. He can, he's got, he, I, I can't stop you flying a drone, like you say. Do you want to stop me though? That's what I'm getting at. Do you object? Well, yeah, if it's, as as it's, if it's coming over the boundary, then yes, you can't I'm, allow that. Well, it will come sort of, it won't go over any of your areas of concern, but it okay. might come over the fence. Okay. Why do you need to come over the fence though? Just to get as near as I can to the subject, because okay. I can see some ramps go underground, don't they? So I might just need to get in a certain angle to zoom in. No. no sorry. So you, well, you, you do you object? Need to do, yeah, I do, sorry, yeah. But the law allows it, that's yeah. what well, I'm trying to say. Council property, but, well, yeah, well, you have to tie that up with uh, someone else, not me, I'm afraid. So, I mean, when you say you object, are you physically going to stop oh, me? Oh, sorry, you're not a regulated body or nothing, so I don't I am. need to talk to you, you don't. I'm regulated by the members of the public. No. They've asked... Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Right, cheers. Yep, so I will be taking the drone up just to confirm. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay. Well, there you go, and he did mention this is owned by the council, and that's all the information I need now. So we are standing on public funded property. So although we have not got his sincere consent, we now don't need it because the ground that we are standing on, we pay for. So let's go over where we park the bike up and get David up and see what this place looks like from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area. They are letting vehicles on. I can see the clear away truck just entering sight there. So there is a bit of a backlog. I don't know if he was uh, the only person that's supposed to be letting them in and he couldn't let them in while he was talking to me, but wow, that's a long one. The roll on, roll off type. Anyway, let's go and have a look at what this place looks like, shall we? Now we know we are on council owned land paid for by the public. A nice queuing system that they've got going on here, look. 10 mile an hour on site. And we'll get a little bit higher because that chimney is very, very high, isn't it?
So there we are at 100 meters high and we can see the underground area down there. That's the shutter where they come out. And on the other side is where they go in. And we heard that this building here is the turbine. So let's get ourselves around. It does look like a lot of offices in this section. And only that amount of cars. And then it goes around here. Fly in through the steam. And then underground once again. It's quite deep as well. And he said they do open days sometimes, but cameras are not allowed. There's the wheels that we found out they use those to clean the equipment inside. And that's where the vehicles enter the facility to dump their load. So down here, I mean, the queue now outside is a little bit long. They have to wait their turn. But this part down here where they've got the scaffold is still baffling me. Why would the need to have scaffold just there when it isn't really blocking anything let's get back a little bit I can still see the drone from here ah, I don't know if you understand that let me know in the comments and that is the only car park that they have So is this some sort of conveyor belt or no, that's just a footway link it seems. So it all must happen underground. And this fantastic bit of machinery here, which he mentioned houses the turbine, must get fed directly underground. So I can't see any cranes that he mentioned. So that's it. Let's get nice and high, get the whole site in one shot, do a 360 degree photo for Google Maps and move on. And there we have it, the whole site in one shot. So that was NV Recover here in Kidderminster. We heard about how it works, we met a viewer, but then the boss came out and he wasn't having any of it, was he? We tried to work with him on the drone issue to say we'll stay just around the boundary line, but we're not gonna say like, we won't come on your land because the airspace is not their land, but we do try and reassure them that your property, any sensitive areas, they're not at risk, but he still wasn't having it, was he? The location of the DJ audits queue ring on this video is just down there, look. There it is. So if you are one of the first people to watch this video and you do want a key ring, then good luck. But for some reason, access isn't as quick as it was before. So just in case that's anything to do with me, I'm going to disappear right now.
So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.